What's up, world? Matt here, and today we're learning about the English skill of describing appearances. First, I'm going to show you five pictures, and I want you to describe the people you see. Try to use all the English you can. This will help you prepare for our lesson, and it'll help you find out what you already know. Okay, here's the first picture. What do you see? How can you describe this woman? All right. For the second picture, what do you see here? How can you describe this man? Nice. For the third picture, what do you see here? How can you describe this girl? Okay. For picture number four, what do you see here? How can you describe this boy? Yeah. And for the last picture, what do you see here? How can you describe this man? Nice. Now I'm going to show you some pictures and tell you how I would describe people's hair and their eyes. She has long hair. She has long hair. She has short hair. She has short hair. He has long hair, but he has short hair. So you can have long hair or short hair. She has curly hair. She has curly hair. And she has straight hair. She has straight hair. He has curly hair and he has straight hair. She has an afro. She has an afro. And he has an afro. He has an afro. She has braids. Her hair is in braids. And he has braids too. He has short braids. He has dreadlocks. He has dreadlocks. And she also has dreadlocks. She has dreadlocks. I can also look at her and say, she has green eyes. She has green eyes. The color of her eyes is green. He does not have green eyes. He has brown eyes. He has brown eyes. She has green eyes, but he has brown eyes. And she has blue eyes. She has short, straight hair and blue eyes. All right, now I want you to practice thinking about these words to describe people's hair and their eyes. I'm going to show you a picture and I'm going to say a description. Maybe the description that I say is correct. And if it is, I want you to say correct. But maybe I'm going to try and trick you. Maybe I'm going to say something that's incorrect. And if you think that what I'm saying is incorrect, then I want you to say incorrect. All right. So here's the first picture. If I say he has long hair, is that correct or incorrect? He has long hair. Yeah, that's correct. He does have long hair. Picture number two, he has an Afro. He has an Afro, correct or incorrect? That's incorrect. He doesn't have an Afro. He has dreadlocks. Picture number three. She has braids. She has braids, correct or incorrect? Yeah, that's correct. She has braids. Picture number four. He has green eyes. He has green eyes. Correct or incorrect? Yeah, that's correct. He has green eyes. He has curly hair. He has curly hair. Correct or incorrect? Yeah, I think he does have curly hair. It's not straight. It's kind of curling around. He has curly hair. Okay, picture 
Number six. He has curly hair. He has curly hair. Correct or incorrect? Ah, you're right. That's incorrect. He does not have curly hair. His hair is straight. Picture number seven. She has braids. She has braids. Correct or incorrect? That's incorrect. She doesn't have braids. She has long, straight hair. All right, picture number eight. She has short hair. She has short hair. Correct or incorrect? Yeah, that is correct. She has short hair. So, how many of these pictures did you get correct? Which of these words are challenging for you? Or are you ready for some more practice? For more practice, I'm gonna show you a picture and I want you to describe to me what you see. If you're feeling like this lesson is a little bit difficult, I want you to focus on just describing the hair. But if you're feeling like this lesson is going well, then I want you to try to describe the hair and the eyes. For example, to just describe the hair, you could look at this picture, and when I say, how can you describe this person? You could look and say, she has an afro. She has an afro. Or, if you want a little bit more challenge, describe her hair and her eyes. Hmm. She has an afro and blue eyes. All right. Now I'm going to show you the other pictures and ask you to describe them to me. What do you see here? How can you describe this person? Yeah, he has short, straight hair and green eyes. How about picture number two? What do you see here? How can you describe this person? Yeah, he has long curly hair and he has brown eyes. Picture number three. What do you see here? How can you describe this person? Nice. She has long curly hair and blue eyes. How about here? What do you see here? How can you describe this person? Nice. She has short curly hair and brown eyes. How about here? What do you see here? How can you describe this person? Yeah, she has long dreadlocks and green eyes. All right, two pictures to go. What do you see here? How can you describe this person? Yeah, she has short straight hair and blue eyes. All right, last picture. What do you see here? How can you describe this person? Yeah, he has short braids and brown eyes. Nice. So how did you do describing these pictures? Were there any words that were challenging for you? Or are you ready for even more practice? For a real world challenge with this language, let's try describing our family and friends. I'll go first and then I'll give an opportunity for you to try practicing. If you need to pause the video for an opportunity to speak, please do but I really encourage you to practice speaking right now. So first, let me tell you about my family and describe their hair. My mom has long, straight hair, and my dad has short, straight hair. So what do you guess? My brother has short, straight hair, and my other brother has short, straight hair, and I have short, straight hair. We're a family with straight hair. Now, let me describe my family's eyes. My dad has green eyes, and I have green eyes. My mom has blue eyes, and my brothers, they have blue eyes also. Three people with blue eyes, and two people with green eyes. Now, how about you go? First, tell me about how you can describe the hairstyles in your family, then, Take a chance at describing your family's eyes. For our final challenge, let's try to say one complex sentence that describes someone's eyes and their hair. I'll go first and tell you about some of my friends, 
and then you can take a turn and tell me about your friend's hairstyles and their eyes. So this is my girlfriend, Kiara. She has long curly hair and brown eyes. This is my friend, Kurt. He has long straight hair and brown eyes. This is my friend, Bronche. She has long braids and brown eyes. And this is, that's me from high school. And I had long hair. In the past, I had really long hair. I still have green eyes. And if you look close, I also had bangs. Have you ever had really long bangs that you had to flip out of your face? Well, that's a description about me and my friends. Why don't you take a turn? Tell me about your friends. Describe their hair and tell me what color their eyes are. Only one thing left to do. Let's look at those same five pictures we started the lesson at, try to describe them, and see how our English knowledge and skills have improved. What do you see here? How can you describe this woman? Nice. She has short curly hair and brown eyes. What do you see here? How can you describe this man? Yeah, he has long dreadlocks and blue eyes. What do you see here? How can you describe this girl? Yeah, she has long braids and brown eyes. What do you see here? How can you describe this boy? Yeah, he has short straight hair and green eyes, like someone I know. And last but not least, what do you see here? How can you describe this man? Yeah, he has an afro and green eyes. Great job describing people. If you're ready for an even bigger challenge, try out our next lesson, which is all about asking questions with these same description words. Alrighty world, take care and keep learning.